let's create an animal class that we can use in the future for polymorphism and inheritance examples. So here I just have basically an empty C++ file. I'm including IO stream because I'm going to use C out. I'm going to use some strings, so I'll include that. I'll have using namespace standard just so that I don't have to use standard and then the scope resolution operator all over the place. And here's my main method that is currently empty. So I'll create the class. And even though it didn't do it for me automatically, I always like to put a semicolon in the data by classes because I almost always forget to add those later. So I'll start off with a protected section and each animal will have a name. In my public section, first off, I'll have a constructor. And that constructor will take one parameter and it's gonna be a constant string reference. So this allows us not to have to create a string object. We're just passing in a reference and then we make it constant because we don't wanna change the parameter that gets passed in here. Now, typically that would be created with a string literal, so it's not a big deal either way. But just in case, you, if you created an animal by passing a string object, then this would ensure that we don't accidentally change that string in the constructor. And again, we're talking about the actual parameter, the thing that's passed in, not the formal parameter, which is S, although we shouldn't change either of those, we'll use this to actually update the name in our constructor. And C++ allows us to have default parameters. So I will make the default here just no name. And another thing that C++ lets us do is initialize our class members using this type of syntax where we give it the class member name. And in this case, that member name is name. And then the value we want to set it to, and notice we want to set it to parameter S. So now this constructor will, before we've typed a line of actual code in the body of the constructor, this will initialize our name member to the parameter S. And now we don't need anything in our actual constructor. We can just have an empty set of braces there. And we'll make a note that we intend the default value there to be no name. So we'll create some methods. And our methods aren't really gonna do anything, but we're gonna use these later on. So when we speak, we'll indicate that we're coming from an animal object. Actually, let's back up. So let's pass the name, just so we know which animal's speaking. And then we'll do an introduction. Hello, I'm. And I think uh, that should be good. We're printing out the animal's name and then it's saying hello. Good enough for now. You'll notice I'm doing this member all on one line. That's just because it's really short. And so it just saves some space and we can see more code it at the same time. So I'm gonna do some additional examples when we get to inheritance and polymorphism. So let me create a move method and an eat method. And in each of these cases, we're still gonna do pretty much the same thing. We'll say animal, the name of the animal, and then we'll print out what it's doing. So in the case of move, it'll say I'm moving. And in the case of eating, it'll say I'm hungry. And that concludes our class. So now let's create some animal objects. So I'm going to create three different types of objects here. So now let's create some animal variables. And I'm going to create three different kinds of variables here. First, I'll create an animal variable, then an animal pointer. And pointers in C++ pretty much work the same way as they do in C, so we're not going to go into too much detail. And then something you may not have seen yet is an animal reference. And we need to initialize this to refer to this animal. So we'll actually allocate a new animal once it's time to use this pointer. Now I've written a lot of code without compiling and that's, that's always a bad idea. It's always a good idea to compile as you go just to make sure you don't have any issues. Let's go ahead and try to compile this. And we'll use G++. The standard we're gonna use is C++ 17, although 14, 11, all of those would, would be fine for this. 
we'll do all warnings and we want it to be pedantic about it so let's compile this we have some unused variables that's fine so now let's run we'll do dot slash a dot out just like running a c program and nothing happens because we didn't do anything but that's okay the good news is we know that so far our code compiles and it runs without crashing so now let's actually start doing some real work so our animal object can speak it can move and it can eat so i'll save that and i'll run it or compile and run and you can see we get some output and that's all exactly what we would expect again there's no name because we didn't instantiate this with an actual name so now let's do the pointer and first we need to create a new animal object and so we'll do that with the new keyword and we'll have a new animal named Dale now just like with C and just like C when we're working with a pointer we don't use the dot notation we use the arrow notation and we're gonna speak we're gonna move and we're going to eat and we're going to spell this right so now our pointer is done let's see make sure that that works notice we only have the one warning now because we're using one of the ones we were getting warned about early and there you can see that works well and finally we'll use an animal reference with the references we're going to use the same syntax we used with the actual variable we use the dot syntax we'll move and we'll eat so let's compile let's run and you can see we get the same output we got when we were referring to the original one because this a ref variable is a reference to our animal a that's what we initialized it to be so quick example of creating classes in C++ and then using different types of variables. And we'll do more with this particular example later in the semester.